Hi guys, so I just recently uploaded the Arch Linux GUI Zen edition which you can download by coming to files uh, which is over here and since the Zen edition is not vanilla Arch Linux I'll talk about why is it not vanilla Arch Linux in a moment but since it's not vanilla Arch Linux you can find it in the experimental editions folder uh, so this folder basically has it has its own uh, readme and you can download the Zen edition by clicking on this it's two gigs so the experimental editions uh, which I have planned are very few uh, because these are just experimentations uh, which deviate from vanilla arch linux so the two editions that I've planned are the studio and zen editions uh, studio is going to be released soon zen has been released which is the topic of this video as well uh, you can read the short summary over here and both of the editions will come with stock KDE plasma uh, so the main additions which are these uh, they have a monthly rolling release schedule so on the first of every month you get new ISOs uh, for the experimental editions I will release them once every two months and I'll not keep the schedule strict so basically whenever the ISOs are ready I'll just release them and I'll inform you guys through a video on this channel so that's about the release cycle so why is the Arch Linux GUI Zen edition uh, inside the experimental editions folder that's because uh, number one it contains the Linux Zen kernel BTRFS as default file system now some of you might not want BTRFS as a file system on desktop and that is why uh, you can always go back to ext4 during the installation obviously if you're doing manual installation then BTRFS will be default for the shell we have ZSH in, uh, in, in place of bash and uh, Z standard compression has been used to compress the ISO image. Why so? Because uh, Z standard uh, provides a faster uh, and, and better compression and decompression uh, rate, which basically just translates to faster installation. Because one of the key uh, steps while installing your uh, operating system is unpacking the image. So, because of uh, the use of Z standard, uh, the unpacking is very fast. Obviously, the file size, uh, the resultant file size is always big. But you can always that that's not really a thing uh, of concern uh, and then lastly uh, we have chaotic AUR so that's why this particular edition comes under the experimental editions and not vanilla arch linux the vanilla arch linux editions will always stay true to what arch linux traditionally is and will provide all right so that's about the zen editions now let's also quickly go ahead and talk about OSDN so you can go ahead and uh, download from OSDN uh, I registered on OSDN pretty late because I wasn't sure where the project would go but now uh, it is a necessity so I uh, I registered somewhere in I think uh, late May and then it got uh, approved by the OSDN admins at this date uh, so with the uh, experimental additions what I'm also experimenting with is not just Arch Linux but also the release engineering of how I basically release all of these additions so for example I am experimenting with experimenting with checksums so you can use uh, the checksum over here for example to verify the uh, the the download of this particular file over here so uh, I also experimented with uh, OSDN so from July onwards all of these changes will be applied so right now you can see that only one checksum is available and only on OSDN you only have one file which is the Zen edition that is why I'm also covering this in this video if you want to download from OSDN you can come to list of releases and uh, this is where you can go ahead and download from uh, so in July you will have an option to download from either SourceForge or OSDN completely up to you and also let's talk about the checksums so over here on the main page you can see the main page of the downloads you can see that there's a sha256sum.txt uh, this is how it basically looks like uh, let me go ahead and open it so this is the file you can download it and I'll probably make a video on how to verify the checksums on various platforms currently as you can see there is only one checksum which is basically just this thing over here because uh, the Zen edition uh, is the first one to get the checksum uh, so this is of course experimenting with uh, the releasing uh, the release so uh, in the July release you will have the checksums of all of these 10 editions uh, over here so in chronological order 
so that's about uh, the release cycle uh, how i'm experimenting with things uh, the main additions uh, are going to obviously follow uh, whatever has been followed till now the first of every month so next release will be on the first of july as you can see over here and that's about it so you can go ahead and download play with it experiment with it and thank you so much for watching i hope you have a nice day